I am here in God of War Ragnarok and I want to show you and let you know if 16 gigabytes of VRAM is enough in 2024 and if it will be enough in the future. Now God of War right here, it is a fairly, it's a new game, but I wouldn't consider it to be new as in the engine because it's, I'm pretty sure the same graphics and everything as in the first one, maybe a little bit more detailed, more textures and stuff, but it's pretty much the same. So it's not going to be using as much but it is still very demanding for some reason in 2024. Obviously, the games that come from PlayStation whatever to PC are not fully optimized and stuff, and they take usually a bit of time. But right now, I'm just standing here, and I'm using 11 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm also using 17 and a half gigabytes of, of RAM, and that to me is just crazy. I have the 7800 XT, and it has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. I bought it, well, not just because of the VRAM, but I was going to be thinking like, oh, this entire time, I'll be great. I won't have to worry at all about VRAM for like years and stuff. But I'm a little bit hesitant, mainly because this is, if what I said is true, that it's still the old engine and it's not a new one, like Unreal or anything. I know it's not Unreal Engine, but if there was a game like this, but it was on Unreal Engine, I would be screwed for VRAM because like Lumen and stuff, it uses so many resources. I have to point out that I'm on, let's see, graphics... I'm on native FSR 3.1 ultra settings and at 1440p. So no upscaling, no nothing. I'm using, yeah, I'm using 11 gigabytes of VRAM right now. Now, granted, this is a pretty demanding texture rich environment, but I mean, the whole game should be optimized to where it should be the same no matter what, because that's kind of the devs jobs. And, you know, I mean, this is freaking gorgeous. Like I can't go wrong with this. And sure, I'm getting 70, 80 FPS. For a game like this, that's perfectly fine. But especially if you're running at 4K, like I'd like to play at 4K. I'd like to have that opportunity and have that headroom. Four gigabytes of VRAM ain't much headroom, if I'm being honest. And yeah, for someone who has the VRAM, who has a really good amount of VRAM, I mean, it worries me. For example, if you have eight gigabytes of VRAM, you're screwed because this means that in this environment, this location right now, you would be using all, you would be using like 20 gigabytes of RAM, not even more because I'm using 20 gigabytes right now. You'd be using like almost all of your RAM, especially if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Let's say you're running at 1440p on a 4060. Okay. Like you're not going to have any headroom whatsoever. You're going to be bottlenecked by the, by the memory. And if you have only 16 gigabytes of RAM, you're really screwed. You're going to have to lower the settings to reduce stuttering and stuff because the textures just will not be there. And yeah, it's it's The Last of Us all over again. I can't really give Last of Us an example because I've never played it. I just don't appreciate that games are requiring so... Let me just see. Let me see. What is the requirement for this game? So you need a lot of space, obviously, because it's a huge game. But let's see. Um, okay, the minimum... I mean, yeah, it says an ARC 7, A770. That has 16 gigabytes of VRAM. But let me look at Black Myth. I want to see that. And see, it says tested with DLSS, FSR, XESS. You have to use an upscaler. Th th these games are requiring you to use an upscaler, which then, I guess, removes the risk of the VRAM, which I guess is what NVIDIA is doing. So basically, the whole, the whole goal for them, for the devs, is they're working together... They're just relying on upscalers, and then that in turn makes it not a requirement to have the VRAM. There's a lot of people like me that want to run native and see it all crispy like this, but don't want to have to shell out for like a 4090 with 24 gigabytes of RAM. I really hope that the next series of GPUs, obviously AMD has been doing a good job about it, but I really hope Blackwell will have at least 12 I think that's pretty reasonable, 12 gigabytes of VRAM. To the 70 series, that's when you start to get four more gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, now I'm here in Hogwarts Legacy, and this one is a change of story, but it's been out for a decent amount of time. They've had plenty of time to optimize it and stuff, and while this is a new game, it's not a 2024 release. It's a 2023 release, and they've had plenty of time to optimize it, but they have had issues. Okay, one thing I'd like to point out, it is using 11 gigabytes of VRAM, which is pretty crazy, but I am at 1440p ultra settings. I am cranking it right now. But this is just to show you what it's doing. <laughs> but the the RAM that it's using is 25 and a half gigabytes. 
What? Do you see that? It's insane. Why does it use so much memory? That's 37 gigabytes of RAM total. Like what? Why should you have to need that much for a game? Now I know this one is on a newer engine. This one is newer and yeah, but still that's just crazy. Now I'm here in Forza Horizon 5 and I'm currently using 12 and a half gigabytes of VRAM. I, for a game that is extremely well optimized and it's three years old, I just, that's very disappointing. And this was a game that before I upgraded my graphics card was very annoying and kept giving me errors that I was out of VRAM. And uh, once in a while there was artifacting and weird glitchiness and some textures, like actual glitching, not just they're not being textures. It is well optimized, but you know, if you want to play at native settings, if you want to play at high settings like I do, you're going to need VRAM. Now I want to go over to the Steam hardware and support survey because this is pretty important for people because this is the majority of what people use. So unfortunately only 14% use AMD. For RAM, everyone, most people have only 16 gigabytes, which means that if you're playing Hogwarts Legacy, you, you're screwed because you, you don't have enough you don't have enough RAM. People shouldn't have to upgrade their RAM just for one game, you know, or just because of a new release. Most people have eight gigabytes of VRAM. This is because of NVIDIA because NVIDIA, most of their GPUs have eight gigabytes and you had to spend a lot of money just to get up to 12 even. And that's ridiculous. Like 90% have 12. And then when you get to 16, only 3% of people that use Steam have 16. I want to see... Let's see what the 5060 is going to theoretically have. So there's no, okay, there's nothing yet, of course. It's, oh, but it says eight gigabytes. They're still putting, going to put eight gigabytes on it. Yet. That's just ridiculous. What about the 5070? 12 gigabytes. They're just, they're just making the same cards, but with the cool AI stuff. They don't care about the pretty visuals. They just care about their AI visual upscalers and stuff. And no, and I, I hate upscaling. It's just stupid. I don't want to use AI stuff if you don't have to. If you need AI to do something like an advanced calculation that, that makes sense, but I shouldn't have to do it to get more FPS and to avoid needing VRAM. So that's just what I wanted to go over in this video. I just, I think it's stupid how you have to have VRAM. Yeah, new games just, you gotta have v uh, you gotta have V, it's all about VRAM, man. I know VRAM is a big talking point and it is a talking point because, you know, memory is kind of important if you run out of it. The latest games, it's, it's unfortunate that you, you need VRAM. Consider when you're buying your next graphics card, the VRAM. If you're like downgrading your VRAM, don't, don't. You're gonna regret it so much. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this subject. Let me know what other games use a crap ton of VRAM and so I can avoid them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.